In agricultural news from agview.net, filling senior level positions at USDA continues to be a challenge for Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack. He looks to carry out the president's policy priorities. Vilsack said announcements about a significant number of state level appointments would start any time now into October as well. Those posts will include the state leaders for the Farm Service Agency and Rural Development Offices. He also said the White House is close to nominating someone to be Undersecretary for Trade and Foreign Agricultural Affairs. Well, so far, the Senate has confirmed just one of Biden's nominees for the Undersecretary position at USDA, Jenny Lester Moffitt. She's the Undersecretary for Marketing and Regulatory Programs. Now, aside from Bill Sack and Moffitt, a couple of other USDA officials, Deputy Ag Secretary Jewel Brunow and General Counsel Janie Sims Hip, have been advancing through the process. Ovilsack indicated that the pace of nominations and appointments have been slowed by what he describes as the administration's ethical standards. He said when you have a high ethics standard, sometimes it disqualifies people from participating. Now, he didn't provide many details of those ethical issues. But prospective nominees and appointees are sometimes required to separate themselves from business interests that could pose a conflict of interest. Well, when it comes to helping agriculture and rural communities thrive, the challenges are great and the stakes are high. But over 430 Carl Fellows have impacted Kansas communities and agriculture. Carl is the Kansas Agriculture and Rural Leadership Program. And if you support it, then those that do help identify, prepare, and connect aspiring leaders to spark action for the greater good. Well, the Carl program is offering a chance for you to win two special firearms, a rifle or a shotgun. Tickets are $100. The drawing will be held in November. Now, if you would like a chance to win one of these firearms, go to carlprogram.com forward slash raffle forward slash. Only 1,000 tickets will be sold, and local, state, and federal laws will be applied. Well, you can find more agriculture news at agview.net. Mark Stock, Big Iron Auction, will join us when we return. You're watching the Kansas Ag Report.